誰も知らない特殊な能力があったヘブンズドア今心の扉は開かれる Heaven's Door Hey, it's Gori It's been a while since I uploaded last review Today I'm going to talk about The Spoke Rohan live action movie First of all Did you all know that The Spoke Rohan has a live action? It's a TV drama created by NHK Every year the new episodes are broadcasted near the end of December My favorite episode is Kshagara which is from the spin-off novel Kshagara! Kshagara! There are some changes made from the manga. For example, the biggest difference is Izumi being a main character. In the original manga, Izumi appeared only in Millionaire Village and Hot Summer Marfa, but in the drama, she sticks to Rohan almost every episode. The movie Rohan a l u v o is a special episode of this drama series. The film was shot in the actual l u v o Museum. It was the first time for the series to take place outside Japan, and also the first time to have a two hours long movie. The plot is based on the manga Rohan a l u v o which is written for Bon Disney Project of l u v o Museum. It's a story about Rohan visiting l u v o Museum to find out the secret of the darkest painting in the human history. As usual in the drama series, some plots were added in the movie. But the story is quite the same as the manga. Going to the review of the movie, I did enjoy this movie. But it's also true that I've seen some negative reviews about this movie too. First, I will talk about what I enjoyed about this movie. I really loved how they focused on showing Japanese horror based on the culture. The middle part of the movie, which showed Rohan's childhood memory, was great. Scenes in Japanese Ryokan Hotel contained a calming fright with the ambient summer sound. I enjoyed how they built up the scary mood through the movie without using any extra details. They didn't use any jump scares, but instead they focused on creating the quiet horror of Japanese folklore. All of those scary scenes reminded me of classical horror films. Such as Ringu and Cairo. I also loved the ending part they added for the movie. They showed why the tragedy occurred by using the style of samurai movie. I felt the movie did an awesome job on showing the sorrow. In that scene, the actor of Rohan did an excellent job on blasting off the emotion. In fact, the ending part is what made me rethink that this movie wasn't bad. It was a nice wrap up to the whole story. These are things that I loved about this movie. In short words, I felt this movie tried its best on expressing the horror aspect from the original manga. The movie didn't have much action scenes, but instead, they managed to build up Japanese horror ambience through the scenes. But on the other hand, there were points that w a s unsatisfying for me. It's actually the opposite of my positive review, but I felt this movie was too quiet. One thing that I love about The Spoke Rohan is that it contains a good balance of action and mystery. Almost every incident ends in one chapter, so the pacing is really nice, and it's really easy to read through. Even if you don't enjoy the mystery part, the fighting part against supernatural beings will always make you turn the pages. But in this movie, I felt two hours were a little bit too long for this one single episode. Rohan a l u v o is a 123 pages long manga. And it's actually written for collaboration with l u v o Museum. Araki Sensei himself says that he studied a lot about Ban Destiny for the project, which implies the art style has an important role on the story. The plot is still good, but I feel what makes the manga Rohan a l u v o great is the art itself. In the movie, I enjoyed the camera angle of quiet horror scenes, but I honestly felt the latter part of the movie lacked the tension. Especially the final encounter against the cursed painting was not as hype as I wanted to be. The scenes were pretty dull and not exciting as the original manga. Talking about the similar problem, I felt the movie hadn't had enough budget to make it realistic. It may be a common issue with Japanese movie culture. I couldn't tell the big difference between TV drama series, considering that this is a movie I watched in theater. The only thing I felt the high budget. 
was the fact that the latter scene was taken in the actual Louvre Museum. It was super cool to see the hidden basement in Louvre Museum, but the screen time was quite too short to get attached. The two thirds of this movie was about Japanese folklore, and one third was about Louvre Museum. I felt the Japan part and the Louvre part weren't connected well enough to blast off the hype. I feel if they were separate apart, and the Louvre part was not special enough to feel the high budget. For the final issue, I feel some actings in this movie were not that really good. For example, there's a scene when a museum guide, who is a French-Japanese person, gets drowned by the curse of the painting. And then, she began talking to her child's ghost in Japanese. The guide can actually speak Japanese, but it didn't fit the scene since she was screaming in French words 10 seconds ago. Even ignoring all of that, the monologue she explained about her life story was quite unnatural. Why do you begin explaining precisely about your child's death when you're facing the actual child's ghost? It's true that characters in anime often begin talking about their backstories, even if no one asks them to do. But since this is live action, I felt this scene was straight out from a theater play. I have to say, it's not the actor's fault. I guess it's because the dialogues are based on manga. Especially since Jojo has such a unique dialogues, those word sayings are sometimes too bizarre to put straight up into live action. The two main casts, Issei Takahashi and Maria Itoyo, did an awesome job for acting. They have been acting for whole series, which made them enough experience to fit into Araki world. But on the other hand, I feel some people's acting were a bit awkward. This is definitely my controversial opinion, but some dialogues weren't natural enough to fit in the acting through this movie. These are the main issues I felt about this movie. But it's true that I enjoyed this movie. Although there are some negative reviews, this movie is still worth watching. I'm glad that I was able to feel the classic Japanese horror in a movie theater again. And of course, it's also great that this movie is a live adaptation of Thus Spoke Rohan. If you love Jojo, I will totally recommend you watching this. I would love to hear your opinions too. But in order to do that, I hope this movie gets released outside Japan. That's all for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Arrivederci. Bye.